Okay, so this is the van as I use it. Um, without a bed so it's, it's a standard kind of board as it's here and what I want to do is put a bed in so that I can sleep in it so that's what we're going to do So I got myself some dodo thermal fleece and some dodo mat to uh, insulate behind the panel uh, because I had a feeling that it would be cold if I didn't. So I started with taking the panel off. Uh, it's roughly 15 screws and then it was time for a break because uh, Black, my cat, came around. So uh, we said hello and he told me about his day and then it was back to work again. Behind the plastic covers on the Sprinter there was a little bit of rust on the inside which was expected. So I took a steel brush and I brushed the rust off as, as good as I could and then I put some rust inhibitor on it and later on I sprayed it with some grey um, primer spray. Not the best rust job but that is something I'm gonna cover in a different video so it would have to be good enough for for this project. Uh, as you can see there's a hole in the panel so what I did was that I um, cut a piece of wood that I epoxy glued and screwed to the back of the panel the side that you can't see And then later on, I cut out a square piece that fitted perfectly in the actual hole. And I then glued that piece to the uh, front. It was now time to put on the dodo mat thermal van liner. And that was easily done because the liner came with a sticky back. So all you had to do was just peel off the protective uh, film and then stick it into the cavities. Once that was done, uh, I then started to add the Dodo Thermal Fleece, which is the kind of thicker insulation. And you put that on with a glue spray. So you spray both sides and then you stick it straight on. Once that was done, it was time to use the same glue to um, add the uh, grey mat, um, stretch mat, to the actual board itself. And that was also easily done by just spraying the wood and then spraying the fabric and then just put it in the place where you wanted it to be. Um, so once that was done, it was then time to put the actual panel uh, back over the insulated uh, side again. So when that was in place with the same screws, I uh, decided to uh, connect a 12 volt female um, plug at the end of the board, something that I would later use uh, to connect my reading lights and my uh, charging points. Um, so I literally just screwed that to the wall and when that was done, I noticed that the wooden trim pieces that I used in the past looked a bit grotty. So I gave them a good uh, sanding. And once that had been sanded, I then uh, made sure I uh, gave them a couple of uh, layers of, of just standard white paint to uh, make it look a little bit cleaner and, and tidier. So once that has had been done, I then uh, put those trim pieces back again, together with uh, three new uh, aluminium brackets that I had made. Uh, and the brackets, uh, as you can see, uh, was part of the bed design. The idea was to hook the 
different parts of the bed straight onto these uh, parts so that I could easily take the bed out when the van needed to be a van and I could easily hook the bed in when I needed uh, uh, the bed in uh, for going camping in. So once they were in place I then also uh, started to add the actual bed pieces and they are pieces I just did uh, made out of uh, aluminium so tube aluminium that was um, welded and then later powder coated um, by the local powder coating uh, company so I used three pieces uh, one end one middle and one upper piece that slotted straight into the uh, the brackets that I put on the wall and it also had two middle pieces that uh, holds the three pieces together in the middle to create some uh, rigidity. Once the middle pieces were attached, uh, the actual bed frame uh, looked like something like this, uh, fully assembled. The uh, next step was to uh, use the aluminium tubing and some sheeting to create uh, the backboard. So this is the kind of raw aluminium that I tend to use. And this is just 2mm aluminium. So I created a kind of a piece that held uh, <laughs> some cheap Chinese uh, bottle holders and some cheap LED reading lights together with uh, some charging points that sit just under the clips. I don't know if you can see that. And I wired that through the actual steel tubing frame so that the contact on the other side is a normal car 12 volt contact. So I could plug that into the side female 12 volt plug that I uh, installed earlier. So the idea was now that when it was fully assembled, it was attached in the floor by the little um, bolt sticking out. And it also had these two pieces, uh, support pieces sticking out that was leaning against the back door to make sure that it was the bed was um, secured in, in all directions. Um, so with that piece on it looks like something like this At this point, as you can see, I had also put on the actual uh, bed support webbing, which was made out of a couple of straps I bought from a farmer's market, attached to uh, some round aluminium um, sides that are attached to the actual bed. And as you can see, that's the uh, actual back support leaning against the door. So I now uh, took a piece of wood that was going to be the board between the bed and the mattress and I uh, with epoxy and some carbon fiber weave just uh, kind of increased the strength on some of the points where I knew I would be uh, putting some some straps on later on so uh, with just some uh, normal epoxy uh, I made sure I glued those uh, pieces on I had an old uh, survival blanket lying around, so uh, with the whole idea that it will reflect heat, I uh, spread it out and uh, with the last bit of the glue, spray glue I had, I made sure I glued that to the board as well. Uh, and I actually believe it made, made a good difference in terms of um, how, how nice it was to sleep in the bed afterwards. And they put the, um, the same um, filt on that I had. I had some leftover from the panel uh, and one
once that was on, I used some plastic tie bands on those pressure points that I put a carbon fiber and then just basically uh, tie banded the two pieces together because I couldn't get a, uh, a wooden piece that was long enough to, uh, to use just one piece. Once that was done, I then repeated more or less the whole thing, but it, this time I created a headboard and I also had some of the thermal van liner left, so I made sure I put that on top of the wooden headboard. Uh, and on top of that, I put um, the last piece of, uh, of felt that I have uh, left. So once the uh, board was on the bed, it now started to take shape and, and look more like an, an actual bed. So this is the bed scene from the doors open. Um, the reason I made the headboard um, loose and not uh, fixed to the, the board is that I wanted to be able to take it off when we wanted to be able to see out through the back doors. These are the rubber strap fasteners that I used to secure the uh, bedboard and also the uh, actual headboard just so that I easily could uh, take that off and put it back on again. So with the actual uh, memory foam mattress on, uh, it looked like this and it's had enough room to walk on the side and in front of the bed which makes a big difference when you're moving around in the van. Uh, it was extremely comfortable, actually more comfortable than a bed I have in my own house. So mission accomplished. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more camper van solutions then feel free to subscribe and ask questions and I'll help as much as I can. Thanks for watching.